Okay. Uh, hello, students and parents. My name is Yimin Chen. I'm the program director of film and television concentration. Uh, today, me and my colleagues, uh, Carmen and Alice, uh, are going to introduce our program, our concentra uh, concentration to you. Uh, hopefully, uh, you will know more about our program and uh, help you to make your decision. Okay. Okay, shall we get started? Okay, so uh, we are a concentration under the Bachelor of Communication Honors film major. Okay, uh, it's film and television concentration. So what are you going to learn in our concentration? Um, basically, besides the general education offered by the university, like mostly we teach you how to make films. Uh, for example, you will learn script writing, uh, film directing, editing, uh, sound recording and mixing, cinematography, production design, and production management, and uh, etc. Of course, we also uh, provide film history and film theory. Yeah, but you can see that, like, compare in comparison, mostly our courses are designed to teach teach you how to make films. Okay, so basically you learn everything a little bit. Yeah, we don't go into great depth. Uh, of course, for some of the production courses, uh, if you want to learn more, we have more for you. Uh, for example, uh, cinematography, we have uh, advanced cinematography, and we also have advanced uh, script writing and something like that. But overall, we hope that you can explore your interest and your capability in filmmaking uh, during your years in undergraduate study, okay? So there are two options in uh, FTV concentration. One is called professional option. The other is liberal studies option. So the major difference is uh, improve professional option Basically, you have more required major courses, right? And in liberal studies options, you have more credits to select uh, elective courses. So you, you study less of the major courses. So that's the major difference. So we adopt program-based admission. Uh, you should just go to the, the web, websites, the JUPAS and non jupers and uh, to submit your application. And uh, interview is required. So we need to see you, talk to you, and look at your works, and to see if this is the right choice for you. Uh, because you really have to be really interested in film and television, uh, you know, to enjoy your study in our program. So um, don't be so stressed out because uh, we are not expecting that, you know, you are professional because if you are professional, you don't have to come here. So we are looking for your creativity, your potential of storytelling and um, you know, if you are able to do visual thinking, yes. Um, usually our interview will be held after the announcement of DSE result. So you can look at the timeline. Uh, the application, the Jupyter applications has started already. And today we are doing uh, the previous page, please. Yeah, yeah, I'm not done yet. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I'm not, I'm not uh, just read everything on the PowerPoint, but you need to uh, look at the uh, important days, right? And the deadline for application will be December 8th. Um, usually our interview will be held during June and July. Uh, like I just said, uh, 
after DSC result. Okay, so you can you can see the green line. Um, yep, uh, let's move to the next page. And this is the timeline for non jupus applicants. Uh, again, uh, the application has begun and we're doing the virtual information date right now. And uh, the interview actually will start, uh, you know, uh, since like uh, February, uh, depending how many people are applying. So we will uh, schedule interviews uh, to talk to you, yeah, to meet you. Okay, so uh, yeah, you can actually go ahead to read this uh, detailed information uh, on our web page. So maybe let's just move to the ne next page. Okay, this is the entrance requirements. Uh, English three, Chinese three, mathematics two, and liberal studies two. And also uh, we'll look at uh, your, your, your grade from two elective subjects. Okay, so uh, the program considered the best five DSC subjects, including Chinese and English. Um, and also the first elective must be any category A subjects, excluding extended part of mathematics, module one or module two. And the second elective can be any of the following subjects, like category A subjects, including extended part of Mathematics, module one or module two, and uh, related applied learning subjects uh, with attained with distinction I or above, listed in the following website. You can check out the website for more details, and also other language subjects at grade E or above. So if you put our uh, program to a higher choice of spending, like the, your first choice, second choice, of course, first choice is more is preferable, right? So, uh, and also if you uh, have high grades in Chinese and English, uh, it's, it's, it's also preferred, yeah. So you can see we can have, we actually have a lot of, a lot of scholarships. Um, like uh, the DC Foundation Scholarship, like 10,000, and Dr. Ng Ho Script Writing Scholarship, 5,000, and Chiu Siu Yin Lovinia Scholarship, uh, 50,000, and the Worldwide Alumni Alliance of American Universities Limited Scholarship, 5,000, and Lin Nin Tong Scholarship for Film Studies, I think. Yes. Yeah, we have a lot more. So. Uh, you can just take some time to browse our websites and you can also go to, uh, you know, our uh, uh, AF's website and our university website uh, for more details. I think we have, we have website provided right in the next page. Let's, let's, let's just move on. I'm not going to, yeah. So that's the web page you want to check out if you want to find out more about a scholarship. You can see uh, there are actually a lot of, a lot of options. Every year we will have a have an award ceremony, okay, to recognize uh, our uh, outstanding uh, graduation projects. Okay, so it's just like a small Oscar, right? A, a small Academy Award. We give our award to to different categories, just like the uh, uh, best uh, script writing and the, and the best uh, short film, something like that. And also, we organize this a lot of a lot of uh, festival tours. Uh, unfortunately, in the past two years, like we have to cut down such visit substantially. But hopefully, when things get back to normal, we will resume our tours uh, as usual. So you can see we we have been to uh, a lot of countries, like basically all over the world, like in the United States, in Europe. Uh, in uh, different countries in Asia, okay. And uh, we encourage students to go on exchange. We actually have uh, exchange program 
uh, and uh, the goal of the university is trying to, I mean, in the future, like get every one of our students to have exchange opportunity. But uh, currently, we still have certain standards. So you, you need to have a, a good uh, GPA, you know, to be eligible to attend exchange program. Okay, so um, yeah, you can find out more financial assistance uh, on our webpage. And all of our full-time UGC funded undergraduate students, uh, no matter your year one, year four, uh, the previous, please. Yeah, thank you. Oh, I'm not finished yet, sorry. Okay, so um, the next page, please. Okay, yes. Um, up to a ceiling lump sum amount of like $15,000 per student uh, throughout her entire studies in the, the academy. So uh, you don't have to worry too much about, you know, the, the financial support. And uh, Yes, like, uh, uh, for example, uh, a lot of festival tours or some of the exchange program organized by Academy of Film. So this is like outside of the university uh, sponsor. So it's uh, specifically for uh, film students. Okay, next. And also every year we will sponsor full tuition fee for at least two students. Like usually two students. I think this year uh, we're sponsoring like three, right? And uh, so they can go to one of the best film school in the world, University of Southern California, uh, study uh, two courses, right? Or, or up to four units, right? And this is the uh, Global Un University Film Award. Uh, we have done that for a, a few years and attracted like more than 2,000 uh, submissions every time. And the student will have a chance to see films from, you know, uh, other universities around the world. And they have a chance to communicate with students from a different country and cultural background. And internship. So we had the non uh, credit bared internship course you are encouraged to um, take this course although you won't get credit for it but it will appear on your transcript right and also you will gain experience uh, which will, will be very very helpful for your future career uh, the production opportunity can come from different uh, uh, tv stations uh, film production companies and a uh, commercial uh, company and uh, as such, yeah. So yeah, although we, we teach film and television, but like uh, some of our students, of course, they work in the film industry and uh, uh, TV uh, stations, but there are a, a lot of students, they have a very, Broad uh, cho uh, uh, choices uh, in terms of career. Uh, for example, they can make commercial. Some student will teach, and some and also uh, all you learn in film and television concentration can be applied to all kind of like uh, media arts, uh, video production, etc. Okay, so let's take a look at our facility. So we actually have a uh, Dolby Atmos sound theater. Uh, let, let's go back to the previous page. And you can see that, um, you know, our university is among the first in the world to feature a certificated Dolby Atmos sound mixing facility within the Asia Pacific region. And also uh, we are the only institution of higher education with the Dolby Atmos sound mixing facility. And even in North America, 
there are only around like six institutions uh, in UK, about three, uh, which can, you know, student can gain experience in producing Dolby Atmos movie soundtracks. Okay, that's how it looks like. And also we have a, a 4K screening room. It's also our classroom. It's a theater as well as a classroom. And this is our uh, TV studio. We learn uh, to make films. We learn to uh, shoot multi-cam television shows in a studio. Uh, also, we have several uh, sound recording rooms and uh, editing room. I, I believe this one is for our honors project, right? And also the bigger one is for uh, year one, two, three students. Uh, this eye space uh, is an idea, you know, uh, it's basically it's a small museum and also it's a, a small gathering space for students to brainstorm, to watch each other's project. And also they can look at the older equipment, you know, to uh, understand more about the tradition of film production. Uh, we have a Studio I. Um, this, this room is called Studio I. And uh, a lot of students use this as their, you know, pr production meeting uh, for their production meeting or for brainstorming. Okay, so I think that's it for the brief introduction. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please let me know. Okay, the question is, that, do I have study ICT to study film? Uh, what does ICT mean? So maybe let's look at the, the second question. Okay. Oh, my old type is changed. Oh, my type. Okay, okay uh, the second que question, I want to ask about how many GPA can have a chance to go to overseas exchange. Um, the higher the better, but uh, basically the minimal, I think is 3.2, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this, this is the exchange program in the international office. And I would like to ask what kind of work should I hand in during the interview? Is it any examples and format? Um, usually uh, we prefer uh, video production. We, like, ideally you can you know, make a short film. Um, like uh, at, also it's, it's very important that you play a key role in the film. Uh, in the past, some students, they might work in a professional crew, but 
if you don't have any major creative in contribution to this project. So for example, you worked on uh, uh, Anne Hoy's movie or Johnny Toe's movie, but you know, you were just a PA and you were just carrying sandbags and we, we cannot see your creativity. So it's important that um, you have key roles, you have major creative contribution to the project. For example, if you are the director, you're the script writer, you know, you are the cameraman, you are the editor. So those are uh, all very important. And also uh, we, we are able to see, uh, you know, your ability in filmmaking. Uh, of course, like if you have written scripts, uh, you have written story, or you have other creative work to show us, uh, it will be also fine. But preferably, uh, short film will be the best. Like, and also, uh, we, we don't have time to see your complete film. For example, you make a, a 20 minutes film. Usually we would ask you to screen the best two or three minutes during interview. And we will have some conversation about your project. Okay, non jupas so sang tiu din. Right. So, uh, the senior year entrance, um, yeah. Yeah, I think uh, the GPA could, you know, the the requirement of GPA could vary each year. But uh, last year, as long as you have a GPA of three point three, uh, you will be interviewed. Yeah. Can we hand in some art, photo, and film video? in the same portfolio. Also does APL of film and transmedia subject helped? Uh, yeah, of course you can, you can hand in your other artwork, for example, painting and photos. But again, I think we prefer uh, to see a short film. Yeah, because that's the most straightforward thing uh, we will know. And nowadays it's not very expensive to, and, uh, to, to make a short film. You can just use your cell phone. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be at the professional level, but you have to show some creativity and your passion uh, in film and television production. Okay, the next one, uh, may I? ask the non jubilee submission requirements and IELTS score required. Yeah, I think uh, you may want to check out the admission office uh, for a very accurate number. Yeah, the next one. Does that mean like how many students do we? Uh, student quota? Yeah, also the, I think the, the number could vary, but I think around, uh, uh, usually around 20, yeah, 20 something, yeah. Uh, I want to ask about the 
。咁而且咧係 prefer 咧呢個片段咧唔喺個 trailer， 唔喺個宣傳片，係啦，即係譬如好簡單，你如果你拍咗一套十分鐘嘅短片，啊，你唔需要將呢個短片咧剪成一個兩三分鐘嘅 trailer 俾我哋，啊，我哋寧願咧就喺你個短片裏邊去睇。誒、呃，你認為最好嘅兩三分鐘，係啦。咁誒，呢、呃这個就係、是、誒、呃、關於頭先個同學嘅問題。咁係啦，作品講即係大約是多少分鐘？誒、呃、，again， 誒誒呢個唔關事，就你無論拍半個鐘、一個鐘、二十分鐘啊。咁我哋都係睇兩三分鐘嘅啫，因為 interview 咧，你係冇時間全部睇曬，係啦。咁當然，如果你預先咧，你就去製作一個兩三分鐘嘅完整嘅短片。啊，咁都得，系啦。系。好，咁你会见到系诶、呃、有一个问题，诶、呃、以 best five 计分制是否可以不包括数学啦？咁诶数学系一定喺里边嘅，你会见到诶系啦，头先嗰个三三二二，咁啊数学就系二啦，咁啊最低嘅要求。Uh, which subject should I have to study during form four to six if I want to study this course? I think there's no specific requirement. Like you can study any subjects.、Uh, I mean, as long as firstly, um, uh, you your DSC result meet our entrance requirement. Okay, you will get、uh, interviewed, and、uh, of course, like、uh, the higher the score. Uh, the better chance you you can get in, yeah. So it doesn't really matter. Like, of of course you have study the courses that we require a grade from, right? <laughs> uh, interview will Zoom or face to face. Uh, it depends on the pandemic situation. Like as long as it's possible, we will held. Um, we will hold a face-to-face -face interview. Yeah. Oh, 今日嘅 visa 系唔系已经冇得 register？ 啊、uh, uh, uh, ，no, it's already finished. Yeah. Okay. Will there be? A higher advantage if we if I put the subject in the selection of band A, yeah. The answer is yes, yes. 读呢科嘅时候有冇话要一定要读嘅嘢？中文、英文嗰啲。So、uh, I'm I'm not sure if you're talking about the general education in the university. I mean, in the university, you have a lot of non-major courses you have to take.、Uh, for example, we have school course、uh, because we are under、uh, School of Communications and Film, right? And also,、uh, HKBU、uh, put a very high emphasis on whole person education. So you also have to take GE courses. Yeah, I, I, I'm not sure is, if that is what you are talking about. I mean, the answer is yes. 對呢科了解唔係好多，想問下多啲有關面試作品要求，或者有冇限題材？誒、呃，如果你對電影電視了解唔多咧，其實你可能需要花啲時間去了解咯。因為 interview 嘅過程，其實我哋就係想知道你有幾了解，因為你有幾了解咧，其實就反映到誒、呃、你有幾大興趣，同埋你花咗幾多時間。同埋功夫，誒喺呢一科度，啊，其實我哋一方面，我哋想收真係想讀嘅同學；另一方面咧，我亦都我哋亦都唔希望收到啲同學入嚟之後咧，佢發覺自己搞錯咗，嗱唔中意，啊好辛苦係嘛？咁所以誒，我諗如果你唔瞭解，你最好多啲瞭解。咁跟住咧，面試作品其實題材係冇限制嘅。啊，並冇話要求你一定要拍乜嘢題材。誒、啊，個重點係俾我哋睇到你嗰個創意啦、想像力啦，同埋誒喺電影方面嘅潛能嘅。
。请问读呢科呢、这个课程嘅话，系咪一定要具有基础拍摄技巧？呃、可以咁讲，唔系绝对咁讲啦。就譬如举个例，如果你有一个短片作品，呃、你系编剧嚟嘅、呃，可能你个拍摄技巧唔系好纯熟，或者你冇乜经验。但系其实你系好叻讲故事嘅，系啦，咁样、呃、假如个古仔系你写嘅，个剧本系你你你写出嚟嘅，咁我哋都可以通过睇诶嗰个片段咧，甚至、呃、其实你都可以、呃、我哋都会其实接收剧本嘅。当然你可能需要提前 send 过嚟啦，咁同埋你需要、呃、用简单嘅语言咧去概括你嘅故事、啊、因为如果你一个厚厚嘅剧本咧。我哋 interview 嘅时候系唔会睇得晒嘅吓，咁、啊、所以我我谂我个答案就系话，诶、呃，你有拍摄技巧当然好，但系电影系好多方面嘅啊，唔单止系一个摄影师啊或者剪接师啊啊，咁、啊、其实我哋都需要导演啊、编剧啊，咁、啊、所以编剧其实系可以，你唔识揸机噶，你可能你唔识剪片，你唔识揸机。但系你识写剧本，你识写，你识度古仔，咁呢个都系一个好重要嘅能力。我哋都会睇呢方面嘅。想问一下，之前参加过比赛嘅作品，可唔可以做面试作品？诶、呃，当然可以，当然可以。请问面试的时候一定要提供面试作品吗？诶、呃，诶、呃，点讲咧？嗱，過往我哋都有同學咧，係面試嘅時候係冇作品嘅。咁當然有作品嗰、那個機會會大好多啦，係啦，因為我哋係通過作品，起碼可以睇到，哦呢位同學佢係真係一直有興趣嘅，佢係喺呢方面花過時間、花過功夫、有努力嘅。咁因為冇作品，其實誒、呃、變咗係誒單憑口講咧，其實有時好難判斷嘅。好难判断系呢个专业系咪啱你 ？Will the interview conduct in English or Cantonese？ 啊、uh, ，English。想问，如果 non-jupus 报呢科，系咪要有读电影 high 啲？啊、呃，唔系必须嘅。我哋亦都有一啲诶，本来唔系读电影嘅同学咧，诶、呃，系啦，可以入到嚟嘅。想請問作品片段係咪最好係有 story storyline 嗰種，即係有曬演員故事內容？如果只係一個生活紀錄片，係、呃、生活紀錄片段，係咪會冇咁好？嗱，誒、呃、分兩樣講啦。第一，誒、呃、你可以係劇情片，當然呢個歡迎。誒、呃、你亦都可以係紀錄片。纪录片即系你系记录一啲真实嘅事情嘅，咁纪录片同你头先讲嗰啲诶拍摄生活片段咧，佢有些少唔同嘅。嗱，拍摄生活片段咧，好多时候都系为咗自己诶、呃、家庭啊、朋友啊或者个人生活嘅一啲记一啲纪念啊而拍落嚟嘅。咁里边系未必有创作嘅意图啊。咁呢一类嘅作品咧，诶、呃。如果系未经过诶、呃，简单嚟讲，未经过艺术嘅加工咧，咁我哋可以睇到嘅嘢比较有限吓。我、啊、但系当然我哋都可以喺呢一类你头先讲嗰啲生活片段咧，我哋会多少都睇到你嘅构图嘅技巧啊，系啦，你诶揸机嘅一啲技巧，呢、这个可以睇到嘅。但系我哋会比较倾向想睇到一个真正嘅创作，一个创作。系啦，即系譬如系头先讲啦，剧情片或者纪录片，甚至咧，你如果冇 storyline， 你系一个实验性嘅作品，啊，都冇问题嘅。可能系一个好注重形式嘅诶实验作品，里边可能冇古仔嘅，但系我哋可以睇到你嘅意念，同埋睇到你一定嘅诶创作技巧，咁呢个都可以嘅。诶、呃，剧本 video 系咪要参加个比赛先受理？诶、呃，唔系嘅，啊，你完全可以系诶冇参加过比赛，冇攞过任何奖，系冇问题嘅。我哋都会照睇啊。咁第一个问题嘅同学咧，就
，誒可能要請你解釋一下 I C T 係咩意思，咁我先至可以答到。啊 ，Do I have to study I C T? May I ask for the proportion of the film theory and have a brief information of how we learn those theory? Do we need to write the essay, or how can we apply those theory on the film review? So, uh, I think like in our curriculum, uh, we have only one film theory course and one film history course. So, like I just said, uh, most of the courses are designed to teach you how to make films. So I think that's the proportion.、Uh, and in film theory, I don't think the purpose of film theory is prepare you to write film review. Of course, it will help you to write film review, but、uh, it's more academic、uh, than film review, I think. Oh, what is the GPA required for a higher diploma student from the mainland? To study the course, yeah, I, I, yeah, I think the minimum three point three. Yeah. Okay. 剧本会唔会一定要系影视剧本、舞台剧剧本？可唔可以？啊、uh, ，舞台剧剧本咧，都得，我哋都会睇，但系。就當然影視劇本會再直接啲啦，但係舞台劇劇本我哋係可以睇到你講故事嘅能力嚇。咁、啊、假如你係一個影視劇本咧，其實因為影視同舞台劇個語言係唔同嘅，咁誒、呃、簡單嚟講，舞台劇可能會更加以對白為中心啦嚇。咁、啊、當然亦都有一啲唔同類型嘅劇本，但係電影咧。誒、呃、好多時候係好講求嗰個視覺嘅思維同埋聽覺嘅想像力嘅，咁所以有唔同。咁但係如果你真係從來冇其他，即係冇，如果你真係冇電影嘅創作啊，你有其他嘅創作，咁我哋都會去睇嘅嚇，都會起碼可以睇到誒、欸，你有冇嗰個講故事嘅誒潛力喺度？好，課程會以什麼語言教學？啊、呃，我哋絕。大部分係英文教學嘅，除咗個別嘅科、呃，目前嚟講咧，譬如編劇咧，我哋會用中文教，誒、呃、導演同埋表演，咁呢三科、呃、表演暫時都仲係英文教嘅，咁有時即係取決於、呃、我哋嘅老師啦，係啦。請問一下語言要求？誒嗱，語言要求如果你係講分數咧，咁啊頭先有講到啦，即、就、係、是、中文、英文誒最基本係三分以上。咁你其他方面嘅語言要求就係、是、誒，因為有啲科咧係用英文教學，咁大家用英文去合作工作嘅。咁我諗嗰個語言咧，起碼你可以做到嘢啦，同人溝通到啦，係啦，同埋你可以上到堂啦，完成到功課啦，係啦，呢、这個就係語言嘅要求。系，嗱，其实副学士，嗱、这、呢个想问下副学士系咪需要考 IELTS？ 诶，副学士应该都有英文成绩嘅，系啦，系啦，系啦，你你本身应该都有英文成绩嘅，咁我谂诶。呃誒、uh, 安全起見，大家都係 check 一 check 我哋嗰個 admission office 嘅 website。好，跟住仲有位同想問下呢邊嘅表演教學同埋 screen acting 嗰個有乜嘢分別？誒、呃、嗱，我哋嘅表演咧得一科嘅，係得一科。誒、呃、咁，如果係誒頭先嗰個誒誒、呃、screen acting 咧，佢係成個 program 都係學表演嘅。咁呢個就係一個最大嘅區別。咁因為我哋嘅目的。唔係想將學生訓練成演員、啊、因為我哋呢一呢、这個課程咧，重點係教大家拍電影。咁你作為拍電影嘅人，譬如你係作為一個導演，呃、你係需要多少知道一啲表演嘅、呃
理論，或者係知道一啲演員做嘢嘅方法。所以我哋嘅表演課程嘅目標唔係培養演員嘅，係俾俾大家即係對表演咧有認知、啊、所以呢個就係最大嘅區別、啊、一般獲取嘅學生大概係幾多分？呃、我哋都有一啲平均分俾大家睇，嗱，咪呢度咧？呢度系啦。譬如今年咧，我哋嘅誒 mean 係二十四點七八啦，係啦。誒、呃、前兩年咧就有分別係二十四點零六同埋二十四點九三嘅，呢、这個就係一個中間嘅分數。但係我諗最低起碼都係廿二、廿三以上嘅分數啦。想問一下，讀完呢科之後嘅出路係點，或者可以從事什麼工作？呃、其實我哋同學嘅出路係好多方面嘅。咁當然有啲人佢就真係入咗電影圈啦，佢會去拍電影啦，或者入咗電視台啦。咁而家其實電視台都有唔少我哋嘅同學喺裏邊工作啦，即、就、係、是、香港各間嘅電視台。咁、呃、除此之外咧，誒、呃、亦都有唔少同學係會去做廣告啦。啊，或者其實好多而家誒好多 website 又好，好多公司又好，其實佢可能都會有啲 video production 嘅一一啲需要嘅。啊，咁當然有同學可能會誒誒、啊啊，我哋去教書嘅同學都唔少嘅，係啦，有啲同學會去咗教書啦。咁誒，亦、啊、都有啲同學會去深造啦，係啦。咁就誒、啊，即係如果係頭先講緊嗰啲，都係直接同電影相關嘅嘢啦。咁亦都有啲人係可能係未必誒、呃，即係點講呢？佢可能會轉咗個專業啦。咁有亦我哋喺譬如做 PR 啊，或者係甚至係做新聞都有同學做緊嘅。所以其實誒、呃、過往嘅同學做嘅工作其實係好好多樣化嘅嚇。To apply this program, is it a must for me to take M1, M2? 係、yeah, ，I think、um, we we have two elective, right? So the first elective,、uh, you you can maybe I don't know if we can go back to the PPT. If not, I just read it to you. So、um, the first elective must be any category A subjects, excluding excluding extended parts of mathematics module one or module two. So this is elective one, and the second elective can be Any of the following subjects, right? Category A subjects, in, including extended part of mathematics module one or module two, and also、uh, related applied learning subjects with attained with distinction I or above, listed in the website we just showed, and、uh, also other language subjects at grade E or above. I, I don't know if I answered your questions. Can I apply the degree program through elite athletes admission scheme?、Uh, I I don't think we have ever done that. I think the answer is no. 可唔可以睇多次学校设施嘅相？诶，或者我哋答一答啲问题先，我哋最后会再 show 啲相俾你睇嘅。哦，仲有咧，如果你真係今日睇唔切咧，直接上我哋嘅 website 嚇、啊、電影學院嘅 website， 其實裏邊有好多相俾大家睇到嘅。誒、啊，我哋仲有啲誒、呃、宣傳片啊，你可以誒睇、呃、到誒好誒，即係有個 virtual visit 啦。如果真係嚟唔到，請問下會唔會有 intern 或者去外國交流嘅機會？嗱、啊，首先 intern 咧，誒頭先誒我哋講解嘅時候講過 intern 咧，我哋係有一科嘅，係一個冇學科冇學分嘅 intern。咁誒，好、呃、多同學都會去做 intern。我哋一旦收到出面嘅電視台製作公司或者係相關嘅公司嘅邀請咧，我哋會即刻將啲資料 send 俾啲學生。咁學生有興趣咧，佢哋就會直接同啲公司聯絡。咁佢去啲公司嗰度做嘢咧，主要滿足我哋對 intern 呢一科嘅要求。咁最後佢 intern 呢一科就會出現喺個成績表嗰度。啊，即係誒咁，雖然係冇學分，咁但係誒、呃、表示咧，佢係
誒、呃、滿足咗收 intern 呢科嘅誒要求。咁 intern 嘅機會其實係有嘅，係有嘅，因為我哋會誒、呃、不斷咁都會收到一啲誒出邊嘅公司嘅邀請嚇。咁、啊、誒、呃、去外國交流機會其實都好多。頭先大家有如果有睇嘅話，誒、呃、我哋。正常嚟講，如果冇疫情，我哋其實每年咧電影節係去好多地方嘅電影節啊。咁除咗電影節之外咧，誒、呃、我哋學校亦都有個 exchange program 啊。只要你嘅成績去到一定嘅分數以上，你可以申請。咁每年咧，我哋啲同學去歐洲啊、美洲啊，或者去台灣啊，或者其他亞洲國家啊，啊咁或者去內地啊，咁其實係好好多選擇嘅呢、这個。所以、呃、外國交流機會好多，而且其亦都有好多、呃、外國嘅學校學者或者係電影人會過嚟交流啦。Is there a job opportunity promises when students graduate?、Um, there's no promises. Yeah, we we cannot promise because、um, uh, especially I think、uh, in In the career of film, like the film industry will be affected by the market and by the the, the situation. For example, like the pandemic, it will be affected a lot. And uh, uh, unfortunately, we cannot guarantee、uh, a career. 请问一年会收几多学生？啊，呢个数就系二二十出头咧。我咁讲，二十出头啊。Miles. Yeah, I, I think the IELTS score. Uh, 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 please go check out the admission office website. Yeah. 想问下呢四年嘅课程系读什么？可以具体讲解一下吗？好，咁其实头先我都有讲过嘅。嗱，我哋嘅课咧就大概简单嚟讲，将佢分两类啦。一类就系专业课，一类就系非专业课。非专业科咧就包括系我哋一啲 general education 啦 ，GE 科即系诶，其实系同我哋专冇唔唔关事，但系咧系系拓展大家嘅视野啊，亦都系浸会大学嗰个全人教育嘅一个要求，就系、是、包括举例啊，喺喺呢啲 GE course 你可能会读啊中文啊、历史啊、哲学啊、科学啊啊等等等等嘅一啲一啲宗教啊等等一啲科目咧。好，咁誒、呃、專業科咧就係、是、我哋大部分嘅專業科，其實係教大家拍電影嘅，即、就、係、是、包括編劇、導演、攝影、剪接、收音、美術，誒、呃、或者或者係製片等等等等。咁誒誒呢啲科係佔一個好大嘅比例嘅，但係同時咧，我哋都有教電影史同埋電影理論嘅內容。啊、uh, ，好，下一个问题，计 best five 定 best six 系 best five 嘅。Do higher diploma students need to start their first year of study in this program? Ah,、uh, I think it depends on. Firstly, it depends on your choice, right? And yeah, and also.、Um, I think、uh, I think the simple answer to the question is、uh, it's not necessary. Yeah. 想问一下 non-jupiter 收生条件。系啦，咁头先都有讲啦，搬 GPA 三点三以上咧，你会有个面试机会。咁啊 ，jupiter 收生咧，我哋都系诶睇成绩，咁跟住就睇成绩高低，同时我哋有 interview 啊、呃、睇作品。咁其实诶。呃 interview 同埋睇作品嗰度，其實同埋同嗰個 job 收生，誒、呃、其實係個程序啊，啲內容啊都係一樣嘅。Are the GPA and IELTS score requirements for associate degree admissions? Yeah, I think we we talked about the GPA requirement. I think the end,、uh, I mean, as long as you have like three point three, you'll be invited. To interview, but I mean, it could change a little bit. Depends on,、uh, like, how many students apply and how you know、uh, how high the scores are there. Are they something like that?、Uh, if I study tourism and 
hospitality studies and geography for DSC, may I uh, be able to apply this program? And the answer is yes. Yes, it doesn't matter what you study. Do a higher diploma student need IELTS scores to apply? No, no. May I ask for the proportion of film industry, a film theory and have a brief information of how we learn those theory? Well, I think this is already, it's repeated already, yeah. It's repeated, let me see what repeat. Okay. Uh, Someone 但是那個數字其實每年會變化的所以這個不可以完全一樣但是你預計是 不是必須,你當然可以申請一位 想知 upper quartile 同 lower quartile 及 medium 的分。我們剛才也說過了,譬如我們21年的mean是24.78,那個 upper quartile好像這裡沒有記錄,但是lower有嗎?upper在哪裡?這個是lower。我們的upper其實相當高的,但是數不是在這裡 想問這一科可不可以take uh 呃,English4must need。呃,I Okay, so uh, we are running out of time. If you uh, want to know more about our program, uh, and also if you want to see more photo, video, about our 
uh, facilities and equipment, you can go to our website and also you can send email to us. Uh, okay. So thank you very much, uh, students and parents. And uh, I hope I can see you on campus. Okay. So uh, later we will actually have some physical visit. Uh, if you have registered, uh, maybe we'll see you later. Okay. Thank you.